Hello YouTube, this is Cole with Meet the Bible. I want to I, I wanna make a video here, there's some confusion on where Satan is, okay? So I want to make a video on where I believe he is. <laughs> I believe he is in heaven, okay? And it's, it's, I think it's well documented. I got, I've got some comments on my last video, I got some emails, um, yeah, gosh, yeah. It's okay to have a different opinion on this stuff. I also want to refer you to uh, Kick Dragon Vids. Okay, I'll put a, hopefully I'll put a link below. He has a lot of great work on the, on the subject. But this here, I'm calling this Satan Returns to Earth. I want to take you to, uh, and I'm a, I'm a King James guy. Yeah, it's just my thing. Uh, chapter 6 of Revelation. Uh, 666. Okay. The six is number of man, but also it's the number of Satan here. Uh, we're talking about six, two. I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Okay. Oh, that's Jesus. No, it's not Jesus. You know, uh, bow. Um, in fact, if you look at it, it's not bow and arrow. It's bow. In fact, if you look at it, it's, uh, in Hebrew, it's taxan. Uh, it's a cheap fabric bow that in the chest of the horse coming to earth here to wreak havoc. Okay? Let me go through some, <clears throat> some verses here. <laughs> I got a contact. I got one contact in my eye. And my left eye, and I'm not sure I got it in right, but so I don't need glasses. And get out your Bible, please. Open your Bible. Read what I'm saying here, and and compare what I'm saying. You know, if I'm wrong, you know, please point out where I'm wrong. Revelation 8:10. The third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as if it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters in earth. Third part of the rivers, third part of the population. Revelation 8.11, the name of the star was called the Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the water because they were made bitter. Revelation 8.12, and the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was submitting, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and night likewise. Revelation 8 and 13. And behold, I heard an angel flying through the midst of the heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. Okay, I, I referred to this bunch. Revelation, I'm sorry, correction. Thess Second Thessalonians 2, 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? Well, we're talking about the return of Jesus Christ. That day will not come, except there come a falling away first. Yeah, that would be the apostasy. Though it would be all these people getting in bed with Satan and losing their salvation. The apostasy, the apostasy, the falling away from God. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of re uh, perdition. Perdition sentenced to perish by name perish perdition that be satan second thessalonians 2 4 who opposes this and exhausts himself above all that is called god or that is worshiped so that he as god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is god here's the huge deception you know people look at one thessalonians uh, 417 Jesus is going to return and we're going to fly away and you know uh, you know we're not, <laughs> we ain't leaving earth I tell you that but uh, you know Paul wrote this letter to Thessalonica saying this is the deal you know they're worried about Jesus and he's saying here's the deal you know you know 
you know, Jesus says this ain't going to return until. They still didn't get it. He wrote a second letter, okay, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, and 4, saying, Lord, here's the deal. Jesus ain't coming until after Satan comes here pretending to be Jesus. And when it's when he does come, the, that's the great falling away, the great apostasy, when people are going to realize they were watching for Jesus and they thought he was Jesus. Matthew, let's go to the Gospel of Matthew 24, 15. When you therefore shall see the abomination, abomination's a bad word, people, of the desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place Whoso readeth, let him understand. Go back to Revelation 12, 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael, the archangel, the restrainer, and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. 7,000 fallen angels that are going to be cast out there. Revelation 12, 8. And prevailed not, neither was there a place found any more in heaven. Satan is no longer got a place in heaven. Revelation 12, 9. And the great dragon, that's Satan, was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. 7,000 fallen angels are going to come with him. Revelation 13, 7. Shoot forward just a little bit more. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindred tongues and nations. Satan is in heaven. Jude 6, with the other fallen angels, are in spiritual handcuffs in a dark room. Okay. He's going to make war. He's going to be kicked out. He's coming to earth. He's going to come to earth pretending he is Jesus Christ. And the world's going to worship him. A uh, uh, huge number of people who do not understand that Satan comes first. Seven, okay, seventh seal, seventh vial, uh, Jesus comes, okay. <laughs> okay, we've talked a couple times here about war, okay? We're going to war. Um, I spent 30 years in the army and, you know, I was invited to war. When we go to war, we make ready, and I submit people, make ready, take this time to make ready for war. Satan is going to come here, and he's going to deceive a whole bunch of people. Like if you like, uh, uh, subscribe, you know, and uh, always need subscribers, you know, we need to get this word out. Now more than ever, ladies and gentlemen, um, my new website, uh, teamjesus.team, brand new getting started um thanks for watching god bless team jesus